Are we recording this? Llamas have a camel face. <laughs> so they're related to camels. And then alpacas have curly afro hair like a sheep and they are related to sheep. Yeah. Fact. So we decided to travel out to Dubai to get some real training done to start the year off as we normally would fly out to Lanzarote to Club La Santa to go and do some winter training to build up those base miles to set our season on. Obviously here in the UK we are not allowed to fly to Lanzarote, we're not really allowed to fly to many places. Dubai was one of the only options where we could go and train. We saw there was a few other elite athletes training out there and we'd also made contact with their elite facilities centre out there so we knew we were going to have a good place to train. Um, it also was just somewhere that seemed pretty safe. Um, people tend to follow the rules there, everyone was wearing masks so it seemed like a good place to go and train. We can just get our heads down, get our training done and really just set that base for the season to sit on. So, we are now back from Dubai. We had a really, really good two week training camp. So initially we planned to stay in Dubai for about four weeks and we were gonna kind of evaluate the situation, see if by that point we were allowed to travel over to Lanzarote and then we would go and train there. We were maybe looking at staying longer if the 70.3 was looking likely to go ahead. However, we was keeping our eye on the news here in the UK. So they may well bring in, by the time this video has gone live, it may have changed, but they're looking at doing COVID hotels or the quarantine hotels. So basically when you fly back into the UK, you could stay in a hotel for up to two weeks, shut in your room, no access to training facilities. So basically we just thought, you know what, we're gonna get home, we know we can train from home. I didn't wanna do two, three, four weeks amazing training and then do nothing for two weeks. It would just be a waste of energy, a waste of money and a waste of time. So we're now back home where we know we can train. At the moment we don't have access to a swimming pool which we're working on. We're looking at options, everything looks super difficult or just really expensive to get access. That is the major downside of being here in the UK and one of the main reasons we actually travelled to go and train abroad. So in Dubai, there is actually loads of cool places that you can cycle. So we managed to explore most of them, I think. So we were very lucky that whilst we were in Dubai, we was able to train at the NAS Center, which is an elite facility. Only athletes who have been allowed access from the Prince himself can train there. So super fortunate that we was given that access. Okay, so we're just about to head out for a ride around the NAS track on our Q bikes. It's the first day that we can officially ride them as they have now been announced, so we don't need to hide them. We can show them off to everyone. I don't think there's gonna be many people on the circuit. There's plenty of animals that might see them, but just looking forward to getting in the aero bars, head down and seeing just how fast these bikes go. We was actually able to cycle on a 20 kilometer cycle circuit that is within the NAS complex, which has all sorts of animals on it. So we actually saw elephants, camels, horses, um, alpacas as well, I believe, or I think they're alpacas or llamas, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, that was one of the really cool places that we got to cycle, closed roads, um, slightly rolling hills. You don't normally get anything other than dead flat in Dubai. So that was nice to have a tiny bit of undulation, great for just going on the TT bars. So that was one of the places that I cycled a couple of times. Other than that, access to cycling tracks where anyone can ride, we went over to the Al Quadra circuit. So today we're at the Al Quadra cycle track. It's our first time here on this trip. so quite looking forward to getting some good miles in. I've actually been here once before back in 2017 when I raced the 70.3 here in Dubai so I can't really remember how it started but I'm sure we're going to have a good ride. Um, pretty flat route if I remember rightly, smooth roads, not much but sand and desert so yeah it should be fun hopefully we'll get some cool footage for you to watch and yeah looking forward to a good ride.
It's about a 48 kilometer loop. Um, you can make it further by doing add-on sections onto it. And it's just really, really cool. Like you're out in the desert, there's nothing but smooth roads, open to bikes only. Great for just getting in the TT bars, laying down some power. It can be pretty windy out there. That's the only downside, but really enjoyed riding out there. Um, we also did some cycling on, I believe it's called the Maiden Loop, which is near the gym facility that we were using other than NAS, which was called Max and Eagle. And that is a 10 kilometer closed circuit just to bikes as well. So super safe riding. Having been used to riding in the UK on the roads with cars and angry drivers, riding in Dubai was really, really nice for just having those closed safe circuits for us to ride on. We also did go over to the Hatter Mountains, I believe it's called, and do some more hill riding. So there is actually access to ride some climbs in Dubai, which I did do a couple of QOM attempts and managed to get two of those segments on Strava as well. So do love a bit of Strava Quam hunting, so you can add that in as well. Um, there's plenty of roads where tons of cyclists have ridden, so it's pretty competitive to cyclists. Um, yeah, so a nice range of options, mostly flat, but you can find some hills in Dubai if you want to. It's just a little bit of a drive out to those climbs to go and ride them. So, swimming in Dubai, you can go and swim open water. I think most of the pro athletes go down to Kite Beach. We did not do any open water swimming. Just feel like I get a lot more from swimming in a pool. Um, so we actually swam over at the NAS Centre, which was a really nice indoor 25 metre pool. And then we swam over at a place called Max and Eagle, which is a really great pool and gym facility. So that was a 25 metre outdoor pool. Um, for most of you who have obviously struggled with pool access, this was like the same for us. We haven't had access to a pool for on and off nearly a year. So it was just really nice to be able to go and get some mileage back in. So today we're starting the day with a swim here at the pool in Dubai. We are gonna be doing a main set of 10 200s today, kind of trying to see where we're at for that distance. So pretty good for the 70.3, good training for that. Um, I'll try and let you know what times I hit today, over 10 of them, hopefully quicker than last week. I've done a full week of swimming now, so I'm hoping to be a bit quicker after that. Okay, so that's today's swim done. It was 10 200 main set, about 4K in total. Good news is I was about five seconds at least faster on average than last week. So that's massive progress after just one week of consistent swimming. So if I can keep that going, I'll be getting pretty quick pretty soon. But yeah, that was averaging about 221 per 200. So pretty nice. I would normally do around 800,000 metres approximately as a triathlete per year and last year I didn't even hit 260,000 so a lot less swimming than I would normally do. I mean as a swimmer I'd be hitting up near probably 1.5 million maybe 2 million so so much less swimming than I would normally do. Um, however, we managed to get on a really good roll out in Dubai doing around 25 kilometers per week, which I think is really decent for a triathlete. And I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that we can find a pool to keep that going now that we're back here in the UK. So running in Dubai is again, a bit like cycling. It's mostly flat and mostly quite hard surfaces. So one of the main places we liked to go and run was along Kite Beach where the 70.3 actually takes place. So we're just about to head out for a run. We're gonna go exploring on two feet here in Dubai. It might be our last run before we have to head home. So I'm hoping to actually get to see some of the sites and hopefully we're gonna get some footage of the run for you to see as well. So you get to explore with us. So yeah, it's probably gonna be a pretty long run. I think it's about eight kilometers from our hotel to the beachfront so 
probably about a half marathon on the plan for today, but looking forward to getting a good long run in with some sun before we head back home to the UK. Well, we actually ran from Business Bay all the way to the Burj Al Arab, which is the kind of hotel that looks a little bit like a sail. It's quite famous in Dubai. Um, and you can run on two different surfaces there. One of them is really spongy, like green material, and the other is like a boardwalk. So you've got a good, really soft surface if you want it, and the other one's pretty soft as well. So we did like running there to get a good mix of different surfaces to run on. Other than that, we mainly ran on the treadmill, which is quite common for us in the UK, but we just like to do that for hitting a session that we want. And then other than that, we were mainly running on the track as well. Okay, so that was my second track session in Dubai Dum. I was about 10 seconds per K quicker than last week, which is not bad in the midday sun. So pretty happy with that. Some 1Ks in the bag. Looking forward to getting quicker and quicker each week, hopefully, and feeling a lot better for it. Reese is doing a couple more reps right now, so he's just doing a little bit more than me. Um, but he's smashing his reps out. He's giving me like 25 seconds and then almost catching me at the end. So yeah, he's absolutely killing it. I don't know if we actually got any footage of me running because everyone else was running. So I'm just going to try and get a little bit of footage of Reese whilst I cool down. But yeah, pretty good session in the bank. And that was over at the NAS facility. So the blue track that you would have seen us running on was in that elite center there. So we managed to get two really good track sessions done each week. And again, we're keeping our fingers crossed that we can keep that going now that we're back in the UK. And I think elite access to tracks is a little more straightforward than swimming pools. So yeah, fingers crossed we can keep that going. So plans now are to try and keep the momentum of training going. I feel like I've had a really good refresh from going to Dubai. I've built up a good base level of fitness. I've put enough energy, money and time into getting that fitness. I don't want to lose it now that I'm back here in the UK. So we work best off of having a really good weekly routine. So we've built that now. We're just waiting to hear back on the swimming side of things. If we can tick that box, then we're just gonna aim to keep that momentum going and then wait until we can get a race. We're obviously gonna keep our ears open about the 70.3 as well, that hopefully is gonna take place in Dubai in March. So I hope to be on a start line as soon as I can get on one. I feel like I'm building up a very good base level of fitness like I normally would do in January. And yeah, we're just gonna keep our eyes open, obviously. Everything is an unknown at the moment. Obviously, there's the Olympics, which I'm not going to, but there's still a big question mark about. Um, so every race is a big question mark at the moment. So we're just gonna train as if they're happening. I'm pretty confident that by the second half of the year, racing will be happening. If there's not, I don't think there's gonna be sport left. So we kind of have to hope that there's gonna be racing left in the second half of the year. Um, because I've got some pretty big lofty goals that I would like to achieve. So we're going to work as if everything is happening and just try and stay positive through this very difficult time. Thanks for watching our Dubai vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some insights. Um, if you want to go and train out in Dubai at some point, I will definitely go back now I've sussed it out and know it's a great place for training. Um, we hope to bring you some more videos during this lockdown. I think Reese really wants to do his 5K run attempt. So stay tuned for that, which is hopefully going to do pretty soon. Um, yeah, and always don't forget to click subscribe for more cool videos.